This is Carla from Our Little Patch of Dirt, and let's talk food preservation and the different ways to do it. In today's world, pennies, nickels, and dimes don't stretch as far as they used to. The economy is not where it should be. Inflation is through the roof, and shortages. You never know what you're going to find at the store. Whether you're new to it, or you've been doing it for a while, food preservation seems to be more important now than ever before. So most of you have probably seen one of these before, but if you haven't, it is a vacuum sealer. An easy way to preserve food. Long term, short term. This is a vacuum sealer bag. You can get them pre-made or in a roll. The vacuum sealer works by vacuuming the air out and sealing the contents in, making them airtight to store in the freezer. The vacuum sealer comes with an accessory that makes it really handy for dry bulk goods that can't be pressure cans. Can your bulky items, flowers, rices, beans, or if you're going to store them, you tend to store them in large bulky items. You can just pull out four cups of flour instead of having to get into a large quantity. The next preservation method we have is canning. It's a little more complicated and a little more detailed, but it's nothing to be scared of. They come in several sizes. You have jelly, relish, pint, quart, and a half gallon. Depending on what you're preserving, it's going to depend on what size jar you use. You don't use the half gallon in a pressure canner, but you can use it for dry goods. Canning jars are designed specifically for canning in a pressure canner. They're made thicker, more durable, and reusable versus your retail jar. They're thinner, one-time use, and can crack under the pressure of a pressure canner. There are some companies that actually do use canning jars. They are reusable, and this is one of the particular brands. So with canning, the lids are very important. They're a one-time use thing when pressure canning. Your jars will come in multiple sizes. It's regular mouth, wide mouth. You can also pick up these really handy items. Reusable lids, they are dishwasher safe. You have the white ones for storing dry goods, pantry, counter, wherever, and the black ones that are leak proof to store short term liquids. These are not for pressure canning. These are only for short term use. Another form of preservation is dehydration. There are several ways you can go about doing it. You can buy a dehydrator, which works fast and quick. Or dry hang. After dehydration, you can store them long term. You can dehydrate herbs, spices, meats into jerky, all to be stored for a longer amount of time. We do our mints, but our favorites is we grow our onions, we dehydrate them, just garlic. We can't use enough of it. We never have enough of it. We never think we've grown enough garlic. We grow our own garlic and dehydrate it down into a powder. With the handy dandy spice lids, it makes it easy to store. Yes. I don't know if anybody else has it, but I have pizza lovers in my house. I will just dry my peppers and when it's time for pepper flakes on your pizza, all you have to do is break them down. Don't forget to pull a few seeds to plant. 